All right, what's up, YouTube? I wanted to make a video about uh, Rails Get Your Own, Get Your CDL program, uh, and to let everybody know, you know, uh, about the recruitment process, how long that took, what it entailed, um, and I'm actually this is the Sunday after my first week, so I'll, I'll give you a little bit about what went on in the class, uh, what we learned, what we we're trying to learn, what we're going to learn next week. Um, but yeah, so I did a bunch of research online about who, what company I was wanting to go with. Uh, well, to back up a little bit, I used to have my own business uh, and I closed it three years ago. Um, did a did a little acting and stuff for a while and then you know COVID hit and that shut down the film industry so uh, my brother's a broker he was talking to me about driving trucks so got me excited about it I did some research found a few companies that I was interested in um, and rail seems to have the most positive reviews from current and past employees so went with them uh, took about a week to get a recruiter on the phone um, she ended up being excellent. Jess from Wisconsin. Uh, God, I think I talked to her probably 10 different times over the phone, maybe more. Um, it's just letting you get to know each other because um, it's a pretty stringent process that they go through uh, with the background checks and drug screening, um, employment history, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, it took me about a week to get her on the phone. Everything went pretty well. My, my employment history was a little spotty uh, because of own my own business, uh, which was fine though. Because um, I didn't have any tax documents from that year because the CPA that I used, uh, I couldn't get a hold of them. So, but they, they called some of my past clients just to verify that. Um, they just basically want to know what, you're, what you've been up to for the past three years. So, if you don't have a good or a long employment history, don't get discouraged. Um, there's ways around it. Uh, and the girl, I think her name was Brittany, uh, that was doing the employment screening, she was excellent to work with too. Um, so yeah, then you do you do a hair follicle test and a urine screening and a physical. They pay for it. Rail does. Um, goes back six months, ninety days, something like that. Uh, they they took it off the top of my head. So in case you're wondering, they can take it anywhere that you want. Uh, beard, armpit, body hair, or whatever. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, during the background check process, uh, your recruiter. You, I mean, after you fill out the application, they've they've got everything on you. Um, but you'll you'll have several conversations with your recruiter about your your background, um, just to help everyone out. And they stress this during uh, during training. Do not lie to them because ten times out of ten, when they ask you a question about your history, they already know about it, and they just want to they want to make sure that you're going to be up front. If you have a history, if you don't, that's great. If you do, that's great. Um, just do not lie to them because they already know. Uh, like I, I had a DUI back in 2005. Uh, and then what else was it? Uh, I had a following too closely ticket where I rear-ended somebody at a red light um, four years ago and a texting while driving ticket um, four years ago also. And the recruiter just straight out asked me, you know, if if I had anything like that happen um, and I told her and I couldn't remember the exact date it happened and show sure enough uh, she had the exact date it happened so little advice is this will help get you through even if you have a criminal history um, just be honest with them they just want to see that you're gonna be honest that way if something happens you're in their truck down the road um, they want to know that you're going to be that person that is honest and upfront and say, look, I messed up. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Um, yeah, I think the whole process took about a month. Um, wasn't too bad though. It went by pretty fast. Uh, then the, the last week, you know, they call you pretty much every day and set up your, your hotel room. I'm in Conley, Georgia. 
um, at their terminal there. Right now, I'm I'm in a parking lot to do this video, but uh, yeah, our hotel is about 15 minutes from the from the terminal. So got here last Sunday night, and then the first day of class, everybody meets at the hotel lobby at uh, 6:30. And a real representative comes and picks you up and takes you to the terminal. Uh, you'll have a roommate. I say you'll have a roommate. There's a slight chance you won't have a roommate. Um, but if you do have a roommate, hopefully you'll luck out like I did and your roommate will be cool. But yeah, you'll probably have a roommate. And then you're pretty much in the classroom all day Monday and Tuesday. Doing paperwork, watching various videos about safety. Um, Sarah, a very safe, safety oriented company. Which is good, because we're, we're driving basically huge spaceships driving down the road with tires on them, so got to be safe. Um, third day, I think we watched another video, just how to, you know, avoid crashes and stuff like that. And we started, we drove the bobcat around, or bobtail around uh, Wednesday is what we did. That was, our, that was our first drive, which is just the tractor, by the way, no trailer. Drove it up 675 um, and some some surface streets and stuff just to get a feel for the for the unit. Then Thursday we started straight line backing. Um, that was pretty fun. Was it Thursday? No. Yeah, Thursday we did straight line backing. I want I want to say we drove around with the trailer hooked up too, um, which is pretty fun. And then Friday, we did uh, offset backing. Um, there's some classroom work stuff too. Uh, a lot of lot of information about pre-trip and in-cab inspections was going over the entire week. Basically, practice that every single day of the week just to just to get it nailed in into your head. Um, and then at night, whenever you leave the terminal, there's uh, pretty much homework. About two hours of homework every night, maybe more. Um, but it's online modules. A lot of it has to do with stuff that we studied for on our CLP. Um, it basically covers the entire trucking industry though. Uh, word of advice, if you make it into the program, get the modules knocked out as soon as you can. That way you can focus on your pre-trip and in-cab inspections. Uh, and it's a huge relief. I, I finished mine yesterday. Uh, and it was a very big relief because it is a lot of information to consume in one week um, but it helps it helps you with your pre-trip stuff it helps you with navigating um, yeah it's been a pretty interesting journey so far we've got three people in our in our class that started at the same time there's a total of I think there's 12 people in the classroom actually but it's set up in groups of three um, and they're they've been there there's one group that's this was their third week. There's one group. This is their second week, and my group. Uh, this is our first week. So Saturday we went over how to use Atlas and trip planning and stuff like that. Uh, what else we got? They do pay you uh, $500 a week while you're in there training, learning everything. Um, it's $500 a week, and then the first uh, direct deposit shows up on the third week third week um, they pay for the hotel yeah, for the entirety of your stay um, they say that breakfast is provided by the hotel but it's like a little grab and go bag with like a piece of fruit and a, I think a bottle of water and a, like a granola bar or something um, that's what you want to eat fine we either uh, I eat protein bars every morning for breakfast uh, or we'll stop at a gas station or something on, on the way to the terminal. Uh, you're responsible for your own dinner every day uh, and your meals over the weekend. Um, there's a half day class on Saturdays uh, and they don't feed you on Saturdays. And there's a restaurant across the street from the, from the terminal that is delicious. I cannot remember the name of it though. Um, so yeah, just pre be prepared to uh, go grocery shopping, eat at the hotel every night or, you know, go to a restaurant or something every night. There's a 
there's a bunch of restaurants around our our uh, hotel. Uh, what else was there? I think tomorrow. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be driving around town with a tractor or with a trailer hooked up again because that, that was pretty fun. Um, yeah, I just I wanted to make a video just because when I was researching the company, there weren't a lot of videos about uh, Rails training program. There were some, but you know, as with anything, the more information you can find on something, the better. So uh, I think there's only been one review of Conley's. GYCDL program, so um, this will just be another one for them. Um, it's a great program, though. Our trainers, Roger and Bob, are uh, freaking excellent, uh, and they take the time to work with you. They want you to get through the program. And let's say we got a we got a guy in our group that's a better hands-on learner, um, and they're taking the time to help him out because he learns different than some people um sometimes i luck out and i can read something and i can remember it um which actually helps out a lot too uh, but whoever's in your class um you guys work together you got gals work together too um everybody help each other because it'll make the entire process go by quicker and it helps everybody else out to learn too if you're if you're helping your teammate because you're all the three of you and the trainers in a truck together pretty much the entire time whenever you're driving and learning how to back and stuff um so if you see a, a one of your classmates struggling with something you know help them out and then vice versa if you're struggling with something they can help you out too um it helps the the information to stick in your head, especially with the pre-trip and then cab inspections, because uh, there's certain verbiage you have to use um, when you're taking your CDL test. So it's just a bunch of repetitions, 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 repetitions. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make another video next week to review week two. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything leave them leave them in the comment section below and i'll i'll do my best to get back with you we god i get up at 4 30 every morning and we leave the hotel at 6 to be at the terminal by 6 15 because classes start at 6 30 every morning you usually out around five o'clock so um yeah stay tuned y'all be safe especially in louisiana right now with a hurricane coming um yeah tune in next week and i'll uh See you guys then.